So, you want to build a base, you want to build a gate in Daisy. Well, you've come to the right place because I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you all of the potential tools that you could use. And I'm also going to show you the minimum tools that you need to actually do it. And I will show you how to utilize them. Everything that you need right here, one-stop shop. Let's get right to it. So you're going to need a shovel, a pickaxe potentially, a hatchet, or a splitting axe, or a firefighting axe. We're going to need a hammer, a handsaw, or a hacksaw, a box of nails, always nails, lots of nails, rope, some metal wire, maybe some barbed wire if you want, some rags possibly, wooden logs, always, some short sticks, a fence kit, some duct tape, or sharpening stone to repair, and some planks. And that will about wrap up what you do need, but here's what you need. Basically, these are the basic needs right here. Let's get started. You're probably wondering, where do I get a stack of planks just like these here? You go to your iZurvive map, I-Z-U-R-V-I-V-E. Look at the end of these little arrows, you see those dark brown circles with the three lines on it those are stacks of planks they are located all over the map that is one place to get planks but there's also another so to get planks from the stack of planks you put the hacksaw in your hand you begin sawing just like this and they will show up at your feet they will stack in stacks of 20. the next place to get planks is from a tree simply get one of your axes or your hatchet Chop the tree down, and if you look at your feet there, you will see logs starting to appear. The tree is obviously going to go down. Once that goes down, put your hacks away. Grab your hacksaw. Okay. Put it in your hands, and there, look, see R2 to craft wooden plank. So hold R2 on one of the wooden logs, and we'll begin crafting planks, and you will see here that you will get four planks. Now, this is a lot slower because you do only get four planks. This method, whereas uh, cutting the plank stack, you can get planks a lot faster. As seen here, 20, 20, and 7. Now, to repair, if your hacksaw gets damaged to repair it, you can use either duct tape. You just go to it, see the circle on the bottom right it says to combine. You can combine it with duct tape, duct tape, or combine it with your sharpening stone, and that will fix your tan tools right up, okay? I did forget to tell you guys, those same logs coming from that tree, um, you need those for a section of fence to make a gate. You need two logs per section of fence, so find another large tree. It can't be a small tree, it has to be a large tree. Now from that tree, you're also going to get firewood. Take a piece of the firewood, put your hatchet in your hand or a saw, and split it. This will make short sticks. You need short sticks to be able to make a fence kit to set up the perimeter for where you're going to put your fence. You can see here I got three short sticks. Now onto the fence kit. Put the rope in your hand, and don't worry, if you don't have rope, here is where the rags come into play. Go into your inventory and drop one set of rags on the ground. It has to be a full stack of six, you need two stacks of six. See, it gives you the option to come craft a rope if you hold it. So you have a six pack in your hands, six stack on the ground, you combine them, and it will make you a nice piece of rope, just in case you can't find one around the map anyway. Now back to the fence kit. You have the rope in your hands, you approach your stack of short sticks and it gives you the option to craft a fence or craft a watchtower. You want to craft a fence, hold R2 to craft a fence kit, and booyah, fence kit for you. Now on to crafting the fence. You need to hit R2 with the fence kit in your hand and it will give you this, you know, those things will be lit up a bright white. Now. Hold R2 to place it, and I would recommend using more than one fence kit side by side if you want to set a row of fence, because it's a lot easier to place the fences close together this way than it would be if you were to already build one section of fence and then try to place your next fence kit. So I recommend having multiple fence kits in your inventory at one time. Now that we've got all the prep work out of the way, it's on to the real work. Go over and grab a log, put it in your hands, and then it will say attach. Look at your fence kit, it'll say attach, tap R2 to attach it. Now remember you need two logs per fence kit, okay? 
or per section of fence, so attach the second log. Now you're going to want to dig it in with a shovel or you can use a pickaxe. Now this will actually erect the fence posts for you so you can begin the rest of your project. Boom, baby. All right, now go into your inventory and get your nails, or if you have them in your inventory, put them in your hand and then you will need to attach them. Right here, see R2, attach, attach it to the fence. And oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, you get your fence kit back once you put the post up. So put that back in your inventory. You're gonna want it for later. Grab some planks, attach those. Uh, I should have picked up the whole stack. All right, 10 at a time, whatever. It don't, you can only put 20 max in there, okay? And get your metal wire and attach that to the fence as well. Now once you've done this, you want to grab your hammer. Um, and you see it gives you the option to build lower fence. Or you can use a hatchet for this portion as well. So build lower fence. So hold R2. And that will build the lower frame for you. And I'd like to mention... Well, hold on a moment here. Um, also, so... Uh, you can build the lower frame wall. I'd like to mention it takes eight nails and four planks per frame or for a total section of fence it is 18 planks and 36 nails. Now you want to keep cycling through hit R2 to go to the next part so I want to build the upper frame and after the upper frame then you're going to want to cycle through R2 again to hit the upper frame wall or upper wooden wall and you can see here we now have a fence wondrous to the maximus. Now you'll want to grab your pliers. We have the metal wire already attached to the fence, so grab your pliers, put your pliers in your hand, and look it down at the bottom of the fence. It gives you the option to build gate. So start building the gate. Boom. See the metal wire on the left side? You now have a gate. Now for a couple other very important things, please pay attention here, okay? Let's say you put the gate and you don't like its placement, you don't like how it turned out. Take the pliers back to your hand, all right? Approach the gate where the wire is and try to look at the wire. It can be a little tricky, and it'll say dismantle gate. This is when you want to hold down the R2 and dismantle the gate to take the wire off, all right? Now, once you've done that, you want to either grab your pickaxe, okay? Or you can grab, uh, I believe, a hatchet. But if you grab the pickaxe and get the dismantle option, you can start dismantling the gate and that will take the fence back down. And you continue this process for each section. Let's see here, uh, let's use the hatchet, I believe also works. Yes, you have dismantle, so dismantle the upper wooden wall, dismantle the lower wooden wall as we already did, and then you dismantle each section of the framework. And let's try, let's go back to the, uh, what am I doing? Back to the hatchet, yes, dismantle. <laughs> Boy, sometimes my retard strength sets in, guys. Please ignore that. All right, dismantle, dismantle. Let's get the lower frame. Oops, oh no, 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 not build, not build, not build, dismantle. See, this can be tricky, dismantle, there we go. All right, so make sure you're dismantling. Um, once you've got that done, this is where you wanna grab either your pickaxe or your shovel, either will work, and then you wanna look at the bottom of the posts. Um, now, what I've found is it can be really tricky. You need to actually go ahead and remove the items. So, take uh, the, what is that? Take the materials to your hands and move them to the side or whatnot. Just get it away from the fence because it, it thinks that it's in the queue to build it. So, take your metal wire out. Okay, now grab your shovel. Look at the base of the posts. Now you gotta dance around with it a little bit. There we go, dismantle base. So to dismantle, like I say, you can use your shovel or you can use your pickaxe and this will drop the logs back on the ground and you can pick it up and move it and start over. If you guys found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, leave some comments below. I'm sure I may have forgotten one little thing here or there. Maybe there's a few tricks that you know about that I didn't mention. Um, and stay tuned for the next uh, tutorial on how to build a watchtower and many other tutorials. There will be a tutorial from me for every single thing on this game, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you. Peace.